What's going on guys? So as you guys know, we're coming off the reels. A very exciting weekend as far as first person shooter gaming, probably the number one franchise out there. The release of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta. I for one is super excited. You guys know if you follow me, I'm a big, big Call of Duty fan. And I want to let you guys know my thoughts and my personal opinion about the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta. So you guys want to know what I think? Sit back, subscribe, catch the vibe, and find out what I think about the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta. Now. Alright guys, we'll be back. So as I said in the intro, I want to talk with you guys about the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta. Now I don't want to get it confused with a couple of weeks ago where they, re they released the... Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Alpha, which was only a 2v2 mode uh, called Gunfight. This one is a little more extensive where you had different play modes. You had uh, Team Deathmatch, Domination. Um, you also had Gunfight. They switched it up from day to day. And if you pre-ordered the game, whether that be on your, um, well for this particular recent weekend, was only for PlayStation users. They always get the access to the content first. So if you order on the PlayStation Store or you went GameStop, you put $5 reserve down, you were able to get early access, which started on this past Thursday. And it runs all the way up to Monday. I don't know, Monday afternoon, evening, morning, whatever the case may be. But it's from Thursday to Monday. The early access was Thursday and Friday. Saturday and Sunday was the open beta to all PlayStation players. So I'm gonna let you guys know what I think. As far as the good and the bad, you know, there's a little bit of a mixture of everything. I got a video game voter junior here. He did play for a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna give my opinion. Um, I guess I should start with the bad first. We're gonna end on a good note. Uh the bad part, there's still some things in there that I'm not happy about that I saw on the 2v2 alpha as well as on the beta. Some of the shots from normally in first person shooter games or any type of shooter games whatsoever from the chest up were normally pretty critical shots if not one shot kills especially in the head now it still has some issues with putting shots from the neck up or maybe like the stomach up and you put shots in and they're not necessarily dying um so that's one thing that kind of plucked my nerves a little bit also next thing that kind of plucked my nerves with it was still seemed a bit of the same issue I had, especially with Black Ops 4, that was worse than any other game that I experienced. Um, the respawn points. So many times on Black Ops 4, I was complaining, and I almost gave up on that game completely within the first week, um, where like certain points they will spawn you, and they will respawn you at a certain point, and the entire team will respawn from the other side, right behind you. So if you're running to attack, the entire team is coming behind you, you have no way of knowing that. That really ticked tick me off as far as uh, when I was playing the game, I, was, I wasn't I was happy with that. Um, so they eventually addressed that concern and within the first week they had sent out a patch and it replaced it and I was actually super happy with it. I was satisfied. It actually, I, I felt justified in my complaining because I wasn't the only one that had these issues with the respawn points and also the time to kill. So that's something we should address here. Uh, a big YouTuber, as far as Call of Duty is concerned, he's very critical with Call of Duty, does very excellent videos, goes into depth and in detail, discussing Call of Duty things. Exclusive Ace, I linked them in my last video, I'm gonna link them in this one as well. Um, he went into detail discussing um, different issues that he had with uh, this particular beta. He actually sent out a tweet saying that he wasn't necessarily happy or having fun with the game. He's saying, you know, he finished within the top three of all of his matches, but he just necessarily wasn't feeling the game, he wasn't really having fun. And I have to agree with him with some of the points he was making, a lot of things I saw. Um, one thing he pointed out early on was the estimated time to kill. And that's one thing that took me from playing core mode, which is basically you get a mini map, you get a lot of information on screen as well as the time to kill taking a lot longer versus core. So, with, uh, versus hardcore, I'm sorry. Uh, core, 
depending on what you have outside of a sniper rifle or a shotgun, maybe a handgun, you're probably going to have to put maybe five, six, seven, eight rounds into an enemy player before he actually uh, dies and you get the kill. Hardcore, you may, it's either one shot, two shot, max maybe three, and you get the kill. So I, I easily converted over to hardcore. So basically, pretty much so I can enjoy the game. I didn't get it real enjoyment out of playing core. But of course, on the beta, it's only core, there's no hardcore. So um, I got some experience uh, playing on the core mode. The estimated time to kill so far with this beta, from what I'm seeing, I'm liking what I'm seeing thus far. The estimated time to kill is a lot less than any prior Call of Duty that I've seen. All in all, the game, the beta as a whole, is totally different from any other Call of Duty Modern Warfare or Black Ops or any mode that we've seen in the past. It's its own entity, so shout out to Infinity Ward. They did it so far from what I've seen. They have done an excellent job with this game, and I'm looking to improvements and different nerfs and stuff like that that we'll see coming uh, prior to the release next month. Uh, I'm so thoroughly impressed with the beta that I'm going to put five, I actually already put five dollars down to reserve a copy on Xbox. I'm not going to probably get on Xbox because this particular Call of Duty Modern Warfare is going to be cross-platform, meaning PlayStation players, Xbox player, PC players as well will all be able to play together, um, So, which is great. And I think I've decided I'm going to get it on PlayStation this year versus the Xbox. So um, I'll be playing on the PlayStation, but I'll be able to play with everyone else. And again, I'm so thoroughly impressed with it. I put $5 down so I can enjoy another weekend uh, playing the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta. So I'll be on there as well. This weekend coming will be for Xbox and PC. And then the following weekend, which will be next weekend, will be for cross-platform. Everybody be able to play. And I believe this weekend will also be early access. It'll start on Thursday and Friday. Early access if you did the pre-order for Xbox and PC. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday will be for open to anyone that has uh, Xbox Live account. So... Shout out to Infinity Ward um, and the developers and everybody that worked on this game. This is such a great game so far. I'm enjoying it. I um, also want to touch on some, some more of the good. Uh, some more of the good was it was another mode that's being introduced, never been done in the Call of Duty game that I've noticed, Night Vision Mode, uh, which to my understanding was only available on this past Saturday. Night Vision Mode was, you saw some clips and footage of it in the trailer where basically um, it was almost like you're wearing night vision goggles and you can see the beam for each enemy player or your own player's um, teammates' guns and stuff like that. But basically everything is in night vision mode. That is an excellent just new mode. It just introduces things and gives you a breath of fresh air. It's not like the same um, Call of Duty game that you get every year, like your sports games. But I really enjoyed that mode. I noticed um, on Sunday that that mode had disappeared. And then what appeared was the 2v2 mode. So each day they added new things. And almost like different tiers to the beta. Where um, at first you were only able to max out at level 10. You were able to do like one custom loadout. And then by Saturday you were able to go and exceed your uh, level up to level 20. Now I'm hoping they continue past practice and where you're able to keep your same level perks and stuff like that moving on to when the game is actually released. As long as you're using the same account, you get to keep everything the same. So I'm hoping for that. I think that would be definitely a good look. Um, so I'm super excited about it. I'm super excited about the game. I got to play with a friend um, on this past Sunday, and he also enjoyed it. He's super excited about it. Um, it's been a while since I've really been excited about the Call of Duty like to this point like i mean i play i enjoy it. it's one of my favorite games but um this one actually i was actually excited to get home and put as much time as possible into playing this game so i'm super excited for next month's release i will take advantage of all the beta and i will admittedly say that i have haven't played any beta up until this point which was my own mistake so it's like i'm kind of on top of things and if you check out link a couple of live streams that I did on YouTube so you guys can get adjust of what the game looks like I'll link those videos as well so you guys can understand and get an idea of what the game is like and see if it's something that you enjoy so let me know 
down in the comment section if you pre-ordered the game, what you thought about the game in general as far as my footage. Let me know if you actually played it. Or do you plan on reserving it? Do you plan on playing next weekend? Whether it be on PC or Xbox or waiting on the following weekend and join in on the crossplay beta. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for continued support and patronage. I appreciate you. Check out the Video Game Voting Podcast available on all podcast platforms. Uh, Video Game Voting is the handle on all social media platforms. Check me out on there. Just put it in. Um, again, I appreciate it. Hit like, share button. Subscribe, catch the vibe. You already know what time it is. We're going to end the episode on that note. So stay tuned for updated video. Um, as far as the differences between the PlayStation and the Xbox, if I felt like it was any different, which one do I prefer? That video will be coming at y'all next week. And I'll basically give you my opinion on how I feel about both. And maybe I'll go as far as doing the PC um, on the free days just to get adjusted plan on PC because it's still kind of new for me as far as that uh, platform is concerned. So let me know what y'all think. Thank you for tuning in. Hit subscribe, share button, tell your friends. Y'all already know what time it is. Video game voter, baby. See him out, Junior.